Am I alive? Ooh. Oh, this music. This music. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is good. They changed the logo as well in the intro. I mean, it's the same music, but the... They made it better. Okay. I'll shut up now. Is that a loading? It's a loading, loading screen. Okay. All right. Here we are. It's just a slider until you can barely see the symbol. That's pretty much. I bet you guys cannot see anything though. So I'll make it a little bit more visible. And then we click next. Oh my God, dude. This is so special. First game, guys, I've ever played on PC. I'm playing it today. This is a demo. I think the full version is coming out on the 25th of June. So in a few weeks, like about two weeks or so. But because the demo is out already, I thought that I would play it. I just saw Riven. I was like, man, is this really happening? They're remaking the, the game. For those of you who don't know, this game was the very first game I played on my uh, in my life on PC on my own PC I mean at home and I was about seven eight years old and I was uh, that was something special I remember a lot of the about the game I know it's been remade so obviously it's gonna look a lot better feel a lot smoother and basically pretty much everything will be the same except for the soundtrack and the the the, the, the sound design I think the sound design is they kept it as it used to be at least from what I've seen. I've seen already someone play the demo and I noticed that the sounds were the same. I was like, man, this is like, it doesn't look exactly the way it used to be, but it sounds exactly, it sounds exactly the same. So it just shows how much, uh, how much, uh, I mean, I don't know why they would change it, right? This, their sound design was already great anyway. So, all right, we're all set. Let's start. Damn, it's been more than 20 years, man. Many ages, infinite truth. Ah, uh, that wasn't in the game before. That's new. Thank God you've returned. I need your help. Man. There's a great deal of history that you should know. But I'm afraid there's no time to explain. Most of what you'll need to know is in here. Oh, thank you. And for reasons you will discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny, but it's actually a one person prison. It's the only way to capture Gen. Mm-hmm. Here. I think all these years, I still don't know who Gen is. <laughs> Once you freed Catherine, I'll come with a link. Catherine. <laughs> She'll know how to see Catherine. I have to tell you something about this after he's done talking. There's a very good chance all this goes well that you'll be returned to the place that you came from oh, i can move now this is new i mean the graphics were not like this either this was a real actor by the way until we meet again in the past in the in the first game Take care, my friend. this is not a real actor obviously the cgi now I can just move. Can I move all around the room? No way. This is so different. Yeah, this would be like an intro. The guy would just speak. The camera would be still like this. You'd be a little bit further. This is this is kind of close. And this would just be like a guy talking and a real actor. It was. It, I don't think that was his voice. But I, I had the game in French, so I'm, I'm not sure. I think it was in French. Yeah. All right, and well, there's not much to do. We just have to go inside the book now. So is Riven a real place or do you teleport in a book? So in the 
imaginary place. I think it's a real place. It's just the book acts as a teleporter, I think. I think that's how it works. I still don't know after all these years. What I was going to say earlier about Katarin, it's that when this game came out, he said Katarin, right? I had a crush on a girl at school and her name was Katarin. So it felt like, wow. The love of my life is in the game too. That's incredible. It felt just special because he said Katarin. Pretty, pretty uh, funny coincidence. All right, let's go. I just, oh, even the mouse looks old school. Look at this. Let's click on it. All right, so this is going to be pretty easy, I suppose, since it's only the intro, but I just want to get a taste of it, man. Yeah, the music. Now it's going to zoom right through the V. With the same sound design again. Thing. Yep. I remember that perfectly. But that's the loading screen. I was right. Is Katarin his daughter or something? His sister? I feel like she might be his daughter. Or his, her friend. His friend. I mean. Okay. Here we are. That's the start. And then it closes. Bing. Alright. Then this guy. I won't tell you what happens. Does he have the same voice though? He doesn't speak English. It's a different language. In the original. Sure. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> it looks weird without the real actor. I remember that. I don't know what you're going to do, but... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this face. That's a, yeah, I remember everything, by the way. I'm, it's like I, I'm pretending I don't remember, but I, I remember this too. Just to make it more special, you know? If I just say, I remember this, I remember that. It won't be as fun for you, I guess. And then, so that's the book. That's the second book the guy gave me, right? The one with the link. Link. There she is. I think that's a woman. I st I'm still not sure. In the first one, she looked she looked like a woman. Is that Katarin? I had a suspicion. I had suspicions that it was Katarin. The, the love of my life right there at the beginning of the game. Didn't do anything about it. All right, see you. She took the book. I suppose it's her. Uh, and uh, I don't know why. Here we are. Oh, we can move now. So it used to be picture by picture. It's like... like I don't know if you can still consider this game a point and click game, but in the past it definitely was considered that. And it would just be like one picture at a time, right? Click and you move, click and you move. And uh, it was a very special, special uh, experience. I had never played a game like that before, but you have to remember that was the very first game I ever played on my own computer. So I had not much experience at that time, but still afterwards I had, I don't think I ever played a game like this. It's very unique. So yeah, one picture at a time. You have to click, go forward, click, go forward, click, go forward. And then you would have like these animations once in a while. This is cutscenes, cinematics, whatever you want. More cutscenes than cin cinematics. And but the rest is the same. The graphics obviously look better too. You look in there. I don't know what that is. Just wanna Take a look at everything. And I think you can click on these too. 
Ah, you can have in this version. Used to be able to click on these little buttons. The stars below. The stars below. Probably water though. Can I run? I can run too. Nice. Alright. Let's go. So there's not much you can do here at the beginning. I think there's nothing you can do actually. Wow. Unreal Engine. Press tab and key to give it to open. And there she is. I forgot about that. Here she goes. With my book. But it's not yours. Right, tab. It's my book. And then there's a bunch of stuff here that I'm not gonna read today. How long is this? This when I was a kid, this this felt like a, an an eternity. This felt like the longest. It's not that long. How does it start though? They held for more than 30 years, but the correction I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed to familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. On Steam, a new patch on Steam. That's not, that, was, that was a joke. That was not a funny joke. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Who, who wrote this? Why do I have this book too? I wonder. Why did he give me that? Hey, what? Escape? Oh, here. Save screenshot to notebook. Oh, you can save. Is that what you said? I, I didn't read the. I didn't read the thing properly. I suppose, right? You click on that and you take a picture. Let me take one, like this one. And a beautiful photo. Let's go. And you just do that. First photo. Test. Don't know why I'm writing that. It's not necessary. By the way, do you keep this once you re you uh, once I'll download the full game? Do I will I keep my progress? Or will I have to restart? Uh, and done. Not a bad photo. So that's what they were telling me. Okay. And then the photos will be in my notebook, I guess. This is easier than it used to be, though. Because in the past, you had to just to memorize everything. I wish this had been in the game, in the first one. That would have helped a lot. You know, as a kid, I didn't have a... This is already a really complex game, so... Remembering everything that you see in this game is... I think is essential, but for me at that time it was pretty hard. Can I crouch? Can you crouch in this game? No? Okay. In the past you couldn't either. Oh, this is nice. I'm just admiring the scenery. The music is the same. This was exactly this soundtrack. I don't think there's anything around here. You can't click. These are like whales. Big mammal, mammals, I suppose. I don't know. Big type. Big types of whales that exist in the, in the game. We'll see them later, but they're not in this demo. And you go up. In this cave, it's so like I guess it's a cave, more like a tunnel. Okay, so I know you can rotate this room here. How many uh, insects do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Not one, two, three, four, five. I have a hard time counting. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Okay, before we do that, let's look here. I know we cannot open this. I just want to see the animation. 
Same sound again. I remember that. Can you collect? Key? So this is something I noticed in the first first time I played the game is that you cannot collect stuff. You don't. You cannot collect objects in this game. Which I remember was to me kind of disappointing. I thought I would collect stuff, you know, like this thing, for example. Like, oh wow, my first object, my first item. But no, just gonna do anything with this. Why is this here anyway? Who put that there? Was that Katarin? Somebody else? Who knows? And then in the past, you used to be able to. Now this is the point where I remember what I have to do. You 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 gotta you could go under the this little door here. But I think for this remade version, it's not the case anymore. So because you click here, and it doesn't do anything. In the past, you could pass through under it. And I remember my father found that solution for me. Remember, I'm a little kid, I'm seven years old. My father's next to me, is looking at the game as I'm playing it. And he's like, and I'm like, I'm struggling. I'm like, what do I do? You know? And he, he's like, well, look below. Maybe you just kind of pass under it, you know? And it's, it's the type of thing that in a game, in real life, it would make sense. Because that's exactly what you would do, right? You could just destroy the, the, the gate. You, you could, there's a ton of things you could do just to pass through that. But in a video game, the mechanics have to allow it. You know, it's not just like, it's logical for real life, but in a game, it might not work. Anyway, so he was like, you can just go under it. And I'm like, but it's a game. It's not going to work. And the funny part is that it worked. You, the only thing you had to do was to click under, then the camera would zoom on that lower part there, and it would just, you would just pass through it. That's sim as simple as that. You just only need to do basically was to go under the. But it's funny that my father thought about it, and not me. It was as simple as that. But that's pretty rare. Usually the games don't allow such things. But in this remade version, all you have to do is this. So they changed it. And then you can open it. Okay. What is the better, better, better version? I'll let you decide. Now you can go here. Now obviously you can rotate this room, but not from this side, because there's no button. Alright, let's go back. This won't be a long intro, uh, a long demo, obviously, because I know pretty much what I have to do. I'll take my time and I'll give you some anecdotes if I have any explanations. Open this. Oh, yeah. So these things, let's see if I can understand anything. Five men. Why does this guy, one of them has, a, they have daggers in their hands? There's a huge tree. I don't know. I've never been really good at in interpreting. Interpreting? Why isn't it? Give, to give interpretations to these things is not my uh, strength. Alright, whatever. Hey, bro. Hello. Press X to take a picture. Access to. Yeah, okay. Here's a god. Who is. I don't know. Who is that supposed to be at the bottom with the book? And it's burning. I feel like that's fire, water. He has both fire in his hands, his right hand, and in left his left hand. I don't know, man. What do you get of this? I don't I don't know. A book with people praising or worshipping. Cut trees, wood. Did they cut the trees to make the book? Is that what I'm supposed to understand? And a machine, another machine. They made books, so they made a book. I don't know. A huge book. This guy wrote. Is that the guy from the who was on top on the other picture? The first one I looked? The second one? Fishes. Sun, people, stars, he's writing something. Is, is he... Almost like he's a creator of this area. This, I don't know if he wrote the story or what. 
This it's it's there's so many ways you can interpret this. Uh Moon, Sun, it's the same guy, I suppose, who wrote the book. People Oh yeah, remember that little village thingy? See those houses? He's levitating. They're praising, worshipping him. I think that's it. Good, well that's fun. Do you understand something? We can go there. We can go there. And we can go there. This is where we were earlier, behind that door. Behind that, that wall there. Okay, let's rotate. Uh, start. Gotta say, this feels a lot smoother. Um, with Unreal Engine. So, can I? Okay, I have to get out of this because I don't remember if this opened a door right here below. No, it's still closed. Okay. I think we have to do it twice. Look at this. Look at this guy, man. And there's like these. This looks like a glitch, right? But I don't think it is. Huh. Okay. I remember all those animations, man. This is cool. Feel uh, very nostalgic right now. Ah. Bro. How come I cannot take this one though? This object. Okay. And you have the stars above. And then this is still closed. Still closed. Still closed. Mm. This is where I was? Wait a minute. Am I stupid? All time I'm gonna get stuck on the fucking demo. This game is not for people who have no patience. Wait. see something this is open now yeah oh there you go I had to do it four times a lot, that was a lot more than I expected now we have the steam that we have to orientate right here I don't think there's a purpose in keeping it up upwards so we're just gonna keep it that way this is where we start at the beginning, I think. Remember that thing? You can't see very well. Can I go on the other side, maybe? It's going to be easier to see. No. But this is where we started. And now... Tricky part. I remember skipping this. First time I played this. More than 20 years ago. I did not see this button. Now we're going to open the gate. Which is this one. Yeah, that's one. That's gate number one. And we just click on this button again are you following a little bit tricky okay 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 ah uh, don't know why i would do that uh just keep pressing i want a place like this in real life and go there and see it for myself that would be amazing. You think a place like this exists in the world? And now we're here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. But I know... That there's like an eye opening and closing. You see that? You just focus on the middle one, in the middle. 
you can see it this area is not accessible in this demo okay yeah usually you will be able to walk around i think what rock around walk around it even the leaves move cool detail all right now we can look here see this is the first known camera that ever existed and we have it right here in Riven and then you can click on this this is a, you have to click on it as a very specific moment I forgot which one I'm just gonna keep clicking on it until it works doesn't really matter right now I think you can find a hint somewhere that tells you when to click uh, I think it has to be the one with the dot in the middle. Is it here? Yeah, got it. Exactly when I said it. So you click, and then it's going to do a, something. I forgot what it's going to do, actually. It's going to look more like this one, right? This big one? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then, I suppose I can still not go there. See, it's the one with the dot in the middle. What does that mean? I don't know. But we did it anyway, so... High five. Now... So I open this gate. This gate is open. So this one... Which one is this? So this one? Yeah, now we can go here. So we came from there. We open the gate from here, now we open the gate from here and we go there. And then after that, that's the little path that I opened at the beginning. That's my, that's the first place I was at. Now we just click there. You don't even know how long it would take me when I was a kid. Holy shit. But of course it's a lot easier when you play the game first. First time, right? You know exactly what to do. It's interesting that this symbol fits exactly this globe above. Almost exactly. It's almost perfectly round. I don't know if it's a coincidence. I also don't know what that means. Okay. Click on it. And for your info, I actually never finished the game. I got stuck. I didn't know what to do. I did not... I would play other games also, not just this game. And every time I would come back to this game, I would not remember what I was supposed to do, where I was at. So I almost just kind of like gave up on the game because I was always like, what's the point, right? If I don't remember anything. And there were other games that were more interesting to me at the time. So I was like, well, I'm just going to play those instead. And I never came. I never came back to this game, but I went, excuse me, pretty far into it. Uh, oh, do I have to stay in this one? I forgot. If if this I need this door, this opening here. So if I this opening is there, that means the thing would be in my on my right. The other opening would be on my right, which means I would be here. I don't need to go there. I need to go there. Right? Wait, wait. How can I read this? It's cool. I thought you could read this. Let me see here. It's a little bit tricky. So the door is like on my right always or on my left. How would I get there? So the door should be on my left like this. So I need to click here. Okay. I like how this game makes you think a little bit too. I gotta say, for first game ever, uh... I don't know why my parent bought me this game. It was pretty challenging. And then on the left. There you go. Bravo. And we can rotate here again. But I don't know why we would rotate here, the thing. Why would I rotate that? Have I been everywhere? Let me see. I've been... Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Why can I rotate this one? Thank you for following uh, Fish Dish Deluxe. That's a cool name. Why can I rotate? I don't know why this one is rotated. Rot rotatable. R rotatable. English, man. It's a hard language. Okay, let's go. Bravo. Let me just... Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the nuclear reactor thingy. Call me crazy, but this reminds me of Half-Life 1. If you played Half-Life, you know what I'm talking about. This gave the same vibe. And again, Half-Life was around that time when I played Riven for the first time. It was slightly after it, maybe like a couple months after that. And that was the game. Oh my god. My first favorite game on PC was probably Half-Life. Oh man, I had this game and Half-Life. What do you think that I, I, that I did? I played Half-Life most of the time. Counter Strike as well. But for my channel, I'll try my best to finish this game completely. I cannot do any promises because I remember this game being pretty damn hard. But more than 20 years later, we'll see if I can do it finally. Okay, can I do anything with this? Can I walk here? Yes. So you see the symbols there? Of the eye opening and closing. You see one there, you see one there. The one with the dot, where is it? Is it this one? Okay. Go there. So this should show us the globe, right? It's It came back to its na uh, normal state. Which I don't know why it did that. Maybe it's because it's the demo. Remember this was open, all golden. Now it's back to this version of this of the globe. I don't know if it matters. Let me look at the others. There's nothing. Okay. I don't think the sound design. Oh no, it makes sense. It sounded like I was walking on rocks or something. Okay, island, a volcano, whatever. Volcano island. Let's go. Another nothing, but I think it it's meant to show this island. Uh-huh. Half open, half closed eye. Showing this island, maybe. And then... That's it. I made a full rotation. Okay, let's go down now. Memorization. This is where I would usually use the screenshot. Um, no. Screenshot, what, what do you call that? The, f the thing that makes you do screenshots in the game. Look at this. Because <clears throat> otherwise it's... Can be a pain in the ass to remember everything. There's a bridge. I love how the sky looks. I don't know where. Look how blue it is. Holy shit. Fucking hot. I don't think you can fall down. Let's see. Can you? Oh my god, it looks like I can fall down. It you used to not be able to die in this game, but now I don't know. No, you can't. Okay, here, here. <laughs> I cannot take another step. That was the that's the limit. Okay, whew. got scared for a second there. Okay, so there's actually two islands here, not just one. See that one? So nice. I'm just enjoying the the view. Oh, this is in real life. I would be petrified, but because it's a game, I don't really. In VR though, that would be cool to. Ah oh, man, I should have. Is this game gonna be in VR? The full, the full version, I mean. I know that the demo isn't. I think, but the full version could be. That would be amazing, man. I, I would play literally this game a second time. Just so, for the VR. I would do it. I, want, I would like to see what it feels like to be on the edge of this thing. Or every, everywhere, not just here, but... The feeling of this universe in VR, that must be... Yeah. That must be something. Alright. Let's... Push this lever. And I remember what this does. Look at that. Oh, 
How is that even possible? No more bridge. I'll have to find another way to get there. Oh shit, I thought it would fall again. Ooh, if it is you, it looks like you can fall down, but you can't. That was it. I don't know if there's a way for us to save the bridge so that it doesn't collapse, but I don't think so. That's it. But how would you how would you get there there then after that? By boat, by some kind of underground tunnel under the water maybe? I don't know. We'll know in the full in the full version. We'll find out in the full version. Which is coming out on the 25th of June, I think. I remember correctly. Now we're here. This is where we were earlier with the big ball, rotating ball. Ugh. And then this is where we were at the beginning. See, everything is intertwined perfectly. See that? This is where we started. I wonder what she did with the body of the guy she killed. I suppose she killed him. This music, man. You used to be able to zoom on these. Can you still do it? No. You can just look closer. What is this called, by the way? In French, it's called Hublot. These little uh, window for the boats. You know, like in Titanic or any boat, really. In, in, that's a word I don't know in English. These little windows. There's the door I was, where the offerings were, and the, the statues of the big, uh, big animals. And that's the outside of the door, I think. All right, let's sit. Bravo. C'est super. Okay. Uh, which one? I forgot. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, you lift the bridge, I don't know why. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I think that's the bridge at the beginning, so I better keep it down. So I can walk on it. Then... We... I remember this part very well, by the way. In the first game. In the first version of the game. And it opens the door, uh, which is right here. See? That's the entry. That's the ins inside, that's the outside. And then we can just get out of this chair. How do I do that? Huh. Uh, this used to be... Wait, wait, This used to do a really weird sound. It doesn't do it anymore? It would do like, like this buzzing sound, like... Brrr, hovering sound, like... Brrr. Doesn't do it. Why? You hear something? No, there's no difference. Okay, this is a little different. Oh, here. I'm so stupid. It's right here. Why can I do anything? There you go. Ah. Again, this gives me Half-Life vibes for some reason. It's not the same game, it just reminds me of Half-Life. What is that? I don't know what's going on. I just... I had to do it because I remembered it. Stop it. I think it's supposed to show me as a hologram. That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, in that uh, chamber there. That blood? What is that? Ah, look at this. Drawings. Of the first men who came here. Okay. It's opened. Let's go. Kind of cool, huh? Eerie. Eerie looking and cool at the same time. This is how I would describe Riven. It's eerie and cool looking. Atmospheric. Ominous. Beautiful game. Something like that. Okay, that's not the bridge. That's, that's a different one. 
Yeah. So, wh why is that button there, though? This one doesn't make sense to me. Why would you use this one? This would lead me he lead me here, but why would I want to go there? Instead of this one. Hmm. I think that was the door, the, the bridge. I hope it was this one. I think it was this one. There should be a camera somewhere here. Uh, I don't see it. it. I think we're about to finish the demo. This is really, really short, I know. But it's because I know what I'm supposed to do. Otherwise, who knows how long it would take me. Um, okay. I don't know what that is. It looks like water. Can I use this? No. Is this normal? Am I supposed to repair this? Symbols. Yeah, this is different. This doesn't look like the eye thingy. Some kind of combination. That's a long combination, by the way. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten. Ten numbers. Ten uh, digits. Okay. Bravo. Very complex. I like it. Steam. We need steam. And uh, open this. I don't like that sound. Nothing. Nothing. This doesn't change anything here. Uh, I'm clicking. I know you can move this thing at some point. It moves from left to right up. This goes up, I think, or something. It moves. I remember that. Anything here? Nah. Okay, let's go. This is like that, that little dagger thingy on the door, on the door frame, at the big uh, over there. Same size, uh, same size, same shape. Slightly different size. Hmm. This is where we were. Okay. I'm about to finish the demo. Can't wait to play the full version though. This is gonna be a very relaxed stream when I play this. I mean, I suppose I'm gonna stream it. I think I will. Yeah, I will. Can you close this door for no reason? No. It stays open. Okay. Here are the whales thingy. I'm not sure what to call them. I hope they tell they tell us what these animals are called. There's a bunch of animals in the game. This is one of them. That's where we started. Yeah. Yeah. And but I heard something. This is the metro station. It's not a metro, but I'm kind of. How do you call this? It's like a train metro thingy. And then we call it with this. It's coming. It's coming. I'm telling you. It's coming. Just be patient. You know? That's the one the girl used, right? I remember? We were there and we saw this thing, it was right here, and she flew, slided, glided, whatever. All the way over there. Flame sound. Oh, this is new. Look at that blue flame. That's beautiful, man. I'm in love. First PC game I ever played. Can you believe this? I feel so old and nostalgic. Now we can sit in this, if I remember. Yes. And then we just 
Can I look? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, so as soon as you get up, the thing opens. Okay. Same sound. All the sounds so far are the same. That's so cool. You rotate this like that. Then... No. Special moment for me. I love that moment in the game. First time I played it. Fortunately, as soon as I push this lever, it's going to stop the demo. I think. Yeah. GG. Uh, I wish it was longer. Thank you for playing this demo of Riven. You're welcome. We'll play this game gladly. I have to finish this game. And the very, very first game I've ever played. I never finished it. I have to. No choice. All right, guys. That was Riven. The demo of the game. The remade version that is coming out in a few weeks. Hope to see you uh, there. Then when it's going to be out. And I'll be playing it. I don't want to promise that I'm going to finish the game. But I promise you I will try my best to finish it. I'll like... I might as well just, you know, search for uh, clues online if I'm stuck somewhere. But I, that would be last last resort. If I'm really stuck, if I don't know what to do, I'll, I'll just do that. So we'll see, I'll see you then. All right, that was cool, man. GG. Oh, you can even change that. Cursor options. Mm. What's my hand? What does my hand look like? Right. We'll put it the way my hands, my hand looks like. Is that the color? It's pretty, like it's brownish, pale. One of these two. I guess this one. Uh, I should have done that at the beginning. 